In 2006, we introduced a new a set of performance standards for environment and social performance for all of the clients that we invest in, all the projects we invest in. The ethic behind those performance standards is one uh, based on our experience over many years, uh, which showed us that companies that have a good standard of environment and social performance do better financially in our portfolio over the long run. And so the performance standards are based on not a sort of compliance gotcha tactic, but really are based on the fact that if you perform to a certain level of environment and social performance, you will do better financially. You will also probably be able to niche yourself better in a very competitive market, have access to capital, other people's capital, because other people care about these issues well, and other people want to differentiate between companies who uh, will do well or not do well over the long run. And you may also improve your PR and your community relations and, and actually be able to demonstrate a, a, a lighter impact on, on the earth. So the performance standards are about continual improvement. They are about having management systems in place that allow you to manage all of your risks. So we're looking for companies that can understand their risks and manage them, financial and extra financial, and we will help you with that. When I look at successful companies who've embraced this and, and integrated it into their business, there's a, a couple of th factors which are terribly important. The tone at the top. Uh, this needs to be led by the CEO and the board. Um, and I, I think that if you don't have that in the early days, then it's very difficult. The second thing is it has to be sort of organic to who you are as a company, uh, what your strategy is and what your brand is. And so it has to be sort of thought through in the context of what your strategic planning process is as a firm. I think it's very difficult to sort of develop it um, over to one side and then expect it to sort of integrate in. And so this is why the tone at the top is so important because they're sending a signal that let's think this through as a firm and let this be organic to our business. And you know, the strategic visioning exercises and planning exercises are very important because then you're looking at the world in 10 years and trying to work out where as a firm you want to be. And a lot of the answers, at least for the areas that should be worked on, come from that kind of analysis.